Hello everyone, I'm Roxana and you're watching a video tutorial about how to use Twitter. But what is Twitter? Twitter is an online social networking service that enables its users to send or read messages up to 140 characters. These messages are called tweets. Twitter has reached over 500 million users in 2012 and generates about 300 million tweets every day. Since it was launched in 2006, Twitter has become one of the top 10 most visited websites on the internet. But how to use Twitter? Log in to our CPRN account. Go to www.twitter.com. Our account name is Europe for Children. Step 2. Decide what you want to say. In general, with Twitter messages, you can either post a link, express an opinion or a recommendation, or pose a question. Messages can be no longer than 140 characters. Step 3. Post your message. On the home page, type your message into the box at the left top of the screen and then press Tweet. If your tweet is intended for one user in particular, type the at symbol followed by the user's name before the message. If you want to retweet a message, click on the retweet button below the message. You can reply retweet or mark his favorite if you like a particular post. Step 4. Twitter is a two-way street. Twitter allows you to see messages from people or organizations that you want to follow. If you want to find information posted on Twitter, click on the search button on the top of the menu. You can follow individuals, organizations, and in order to understand how the service works, please visit some of the most popular accounts in our field, like World Vision International, for example, UNICEF or Save the Children. Step 5. How to use hashtags. Hashtags mark keywords or topics on tweets, so clicking on one hashtag will lead you to a search showing tweets with the same hashtag. Hashtags are marked with the symbol hash. They were originally created by Twitter users and have become a way to participate in global conversations. There are two ways to use hashtags. One is a way to document certain kind of tweets that you send out. It is also a way for you to search what other people are saying about a particular hashtag. And finally, some Twitter suggestions. Before starting to tweet, it might be a good idea to hang around and get to know Twitter a little bit, see how people interact with each other, how they write tweets, or see how organizations promote their campaign. Be concise in your communication. The 140 characters might actually force you to do that anyway. It is also important to credit sources. So, try to include links when you post out information you take from a different website. That's it. If you need information or more assistance, you can always write to me on my Gmail account or you can follow me on Twitter.